And we are very happy to be joined once again on the Milford Informer by two representatives from the Citizens for Milford. We have Peter and Joanne joining us once again. Uh, thank you guys uh, for, for being so gracious with your time to once again join us on the program. Thank you for having us. Uh, so for, for those who might not remember, we had Peter and Joanne on uh, back during the winter a couple of months ago uh, to first talk about uh, the big plans that you had in place for uh, the, the Medal of Liberty ceremony, which you had planned with, for uh, May 20th, which is now just a couple of weeks away. And uh, so, Peter, first of all, just to refresh everyone's memory, tell us a little bit about, about this award and its significance. Well, the state of Massachusetts passed a law back in 2009, 2010, that they would award this Medal of Liberty to any soldier that was killed in action or died as a result of injuries suffered in action. So Milford had a list of approximately 57 Milfordians that were killed in action. And we, like I said at, at the last interview, that we had given out eight during the Veterans Day, uh, this past Veterans Day ceremony. Uh, and now we've got uh, 43 that we're going to be giving out at this ceremony, May 20th. Joanne, when, when we spoke last, uh, you were still relatively in the early stages of, of trying to track down uh, the next of kin for, for a lot of the, the servicemen that, that you were hoping. We had 17 that there was no way that we could find. We tried everything. So um, you were kind enough to publish it on the screen, and uh, the Milford Daily News did an article on it. And I'm very happy to say we found 100% of the next of kin. And the reason it was so hard is some of these people that died in 1945 had no brothers or sisters. Their parents are long gone. So the community, by reaching out to them, worked side by side with us and called and gave us leads. We followed up every lead. It took us to Florida several times, and uh, Connecticut is another one I can think of. But the community was so helpful because they would say, oh, I saw this in the paper. I saw this on Milford TV, and I remember so-and-so. I went to high school with him, and they'd give you a big story, and one told how he was a little boy, and his sister was his sister's husband. So that's how we were able to find everyone. And aside from the, the Medal of Liberty being handed out, uh, Joanne, there's also going to be uh, citations and, and awards uh, presented by a lot of local and, and even state officials over, over the course of the ceremony. Um, the family will receive a citation from Governor Baker, along with um, citations and proclamations from uh, Congressman Joe Kennedy, and uh, Senator Fatman and Representative Murray. So um, that was a little hard, how we were going to do this, because we don't want the audience there for hours being bored. So we tweaked it, so it's going to be a very, very nice flow when they pick up all of these awards. That's outstanding. And again, I, Peter, you touched on this just a moment ago, but uh, there's a lot of other uh, involvement as well. You, you have the, uh, the, the uh, Milford Area Community Chorus uh, in, in, involved in the day, and also some of the high school musicians will, will be part of this as well. Yes. Uh, the Milford a Touch of Brass will be the uh, quartet, the Milford, the prelude to, to the ceremony. Uh, the Greater Milford Community Chorus will be America the Beautiful. Uh, and then the uh, Milford High School Quartet. Um, see, God Bless America? No, right? they're singing the Star Spangled, Star -Spangled Banner. Banner. Okay. And then um, we have taps and echo taps to close the program. Yeah. Um, the Italian Vets Post 40 in Milford has been very helpful to us. They're going to post the colors and retire the colors at the ceremony. And we have a group of Girl Scouts that will lead um, everyone in attendance in the Pledge of Allegiance. And they have also have a little surprise for all of the family members. Oh, that's wonderful. And uh, so, uh, again, just to remind everyone once again, this is coming up on Sunday, May the 20th, uh, over at Upper Town Hall here in Milford. You'll, uh, the, the actual ceremony will begin at 2 o'clock. You'll open the doors at 1.30. And uh, I'm imagining that this is, uh, you're, you're going you're gonna to pack the house. So uh, it would certainly be wise for people to, to come early to, uh, 
uh, to make sure that they can secure parking and a seat. Yeah, even if it's earlier than 1.30. And we did send out very formal invitations to uh, dignitaries and certain people, but uh, the whole public is welcome. We, we encourage anyone, that from, especially from Milford, who can attend to make it. We want as many people there as possible. We found out that the uh, town hall can hold 800. 830, so we're hoping yeah. that there's 801 and we'll have to sneak <laughs> somewhere in on the side. But just the um, look of the town hall will be so very different because we're yeah. going to festoon it in red, white, and blue. And um, the committee made a presentation this past Monday to the Milford Board of Selectmen. We purchased a new American flag and a new state flag which will make their first appearance on May 20th to enhance the look of the town hall and to let everyone know that in 2018, this ceremony took place. Well, that is absolutely fantastic. And again, you mentioned it. Uh, this event is absolutely free and open to the public. So uh, we, we certainly recommend uh, everyone uh, check out what is going to be a very moving and, uh, and very special event. And, and uh, just as, as we uh, close things out, Peter, I know you mentioned to this to me before you came on air, but this is, uh, you set out to accomplish a goal with this, with this committee, with this, with this presentation to, to honor uh, every fallen hero. And, and the way you put it to me before we came on air is mission accomplished. That's got to be a pretty special feeling. Yes, it is. And it the is. family's going to be honored because yeah. the families gave up a lot too when their loved yeah. one didn't return or they got the telegram. I was talking to one of the people, she was 10 years old, and she remembers them coming to the door. And um, another girl whose dad was in the Vietnam War said she was two and a half, and all she remembers that someone came to their door and her mother couldn't stop crying. So this is going to be very meaningful to these people as well. Well, these are uh, absolutely without a doubt heroes. They made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, in service to our country. So we, we cannot do enough to honor and remember uh, all, of, all of these heroes. So uh, again, we have to thank you and the folks at Citizens for Milford for putting this event together. It's going to be a fantastic day, a very memorable day here in Milford. So we encourage everyone in the community to come out to the Medal of Liberty ceremony on Sunday, May the 20th. The ceremony will begin at 2 o'clock. It is free and open to the public. And again, for any other information on this or any other CFM events, we encourage you to check out the website, citizensformilford.com, a great resource here in the community. So Peter, Joanne, thank you again for all of your hard work and thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. It's thank our you. pleasure. Yeah. This is Milford TV News and Sports Director Tim Coet. Make sure you check out new editions of the Milford Informer every Friday at 7.30 p.m. or during one of our eight convenient re-air times throughout the weekend. You can also find individual news stories as well as full archived editions on our YouTube page My Milford TV. If you live in the greater Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can tweet at us using the handle at Milford underscore TV, or you can contact me directly by sending an email to news at milfordtv.net.